giving all praises to Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Rechak Wadash, double honest our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Uh, Shalom to the elect. You know, I'm going to name this video the uh, proper understanding to uh, Romans 13 and 1, and actually go into the reason why Paul actually wrote this uh, to the actual Romans, uh, the Israelites that were in Rome. To be specific, okay, that's first and foremost. This letter wasn't written to all uh, that be in Rome. Uh, it was written to all that be in Rome that who were called saints, as you read in Romans, the first chapter. All right, and the saints, when you read Psalms 15 and 5, is who? The Israelites, okay? So, without further ado, all right, we'll Romans 12 chapter, and I'll uh, explain why he, he started off the 13th chapter saying what he said. All right, um, start of Romans 12 and 17. It says, Recompense to no man evil for evil. Provide things honest in the sight of all men. If it be possible, as much as life in you, live peaceably with all men. That's right. Because that's talking about everybody, man. That's talking about uh, two thirds, two thirds of the nation of Israel that, that don't get right. That's talking about the heathens, the ones that are not of the promise. All right. Um, Edomites, Elamites, Hamites, Moabites, Ammonites, so on and so forth. Scripture said, if that be possible, as much as lieth in you, live peaceably with all men. All right? Right? Why? Because all, all these nations are putting hell on us. Okay? But the scripture says this, dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves. All right? A man ain't supposed to, you know, go out killing, uh, 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 Heathens or trying to kill a two third, all right, or trying to put him to death. It says, but rather give place unto wrath, for it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, saith the Lord. All right, and mind you, again, this is written unto the uh, the Israelites that are in Rome at the time, okay? Why? Because Rome was the dominant, it was the prominent force on the earth, and it had our people in subjection. So he's saying, Look, don't venge yourselves, man. Remember, the Lord says, Vengeance is his. Okay, therefore, if thine enemy hunger, feed him. If he thirsts, give him drink. For in so doing, thou shalt he coals of fire on his head. That's right. Why? Because the scripture says, um, what? It talks about, uh, Yahweh Shai said, be uh, wise as serpents and harmless as doves, man. All right. A serpent, you can't see where he's coming from. A dove, you know, again, it's, just, it's harmless, you know. So we supposed to play the serpent in this society, man. We ain't supposed to be out here, you know, trying to overthrow the government or trying to overthrow fractions of the uh, of the of the state and things of that nature, you know? That's not what we are uh, called to do. All right? That's not what we were here for. All right? So it says therefore if thine enemy hunger, feed him. If he thirst, give him drink. For in so doing, thou shalt heap coals of fire on his head. Be not overcome of evil. But overcome evil with good. <laughs> Salakia. Excuse me. It says, be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. That's right, man. Because we catching all men as a hell, but we're not supposed to get carnal, man. The scripture says a carnal mind is enmity with the most high. Also, too, the scripture says what? Be ye angry and sin not. All right. So it's OK to be angry that we're in the predicament that we're in, but it's not for us to take arms into our, and take action into our own hands. And that's what Paul is saying, leading into the 13th verse, 13th chapter. I'm sorry. Uh, Romans 13 and one, let every soul be subject unto the higher powers, for there is no power but of the most high. The powers that be are ordained of the most high. Right. So. There's certain aspects in which, yeah, in the government or, okay, you living in uh, America or wherever you at, you got to abide by the laws of the state or you got to abide by the laws of the government, right? Like, for instance, you got to wear your seatbelt, right? Okay, you got to stop at the red light, you know, traffic stuff or, you know, um, whatever. If you get if you get summoned to court, guess what? You got to go, all right? So you're supposed to be in subject to the higher powers, all right. Why? Because those powers are set up by the most high. Like, like the scripture says, that's true. The scripture says also too, Psalm 75 and 7. Uh, it says the promotion cometh not from the east nor from the west. 
All right. It says, but the most high established, uh, take it down one and establish another. Okay. Meaning what these, these governments, these empires that were all the empires that were ever set up was set up by the most high. All rulerships and establishments are set up by the most high. Okay. So, 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 so it says who sort of therefore resisted the power resisted the ordinance of the most high. Now we got to see what this word resistive means. Okay. To get a proper understanding with Paul is conveying to the Israelites that be in Rome. Okay. This is the word resistive. It says to range in battle against, to oppose oneself, to resist. That's right. Basically, you mean to fight. Okay. So it says, it says, uh, whosoever therefore fighteth against the power, meaning the government that stands, fighteth against the, fighteth the ordinance of the most high. And they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation. That's right, because the Most High, again, like he said in the 12th chapter, is the Most High is going to be the avenger, all right? The avenger, if you will, okay? For rulers are not terror, are not a terror to good works, but to the evil, all right? Meaning what? The people that are rulership, the, 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 the governors, the government, they're not a terror unto good works. So if you're doing the right thing, you ain't got nothing to worry about. Will thou then not be afraid of the power? Do that which is good, and thou shalt have praise of the same. All right? So do the, do the, do the right thing, and the Most High is going to exalt you. For he is the minister or the servant of the Most High to thee for good. Okay? But if thou do that which is evil, be afraid. For he beareth not the sword in vain. For he is the minister of the Most High, a revenger to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. That's right, because the Most High uses the so-called white man, okay, this government, this society, as his whipping stick, okay, as basically as his his uh, uh, rod of correction, okay. So if you go off and things of that nature, he uses Esau to jack you up, all right. So, uh, 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 verse five, it says, "Wherefore ye must needs be subject not only for wrath." But also for conscience sake. That's right. So you have your mind and you have your steps in order, man. All right. Just to do the right thing. Okay. So that's the point on that. So basically what we conclude is that what? That Paul was writing this because why? You had zealots at the time that were basically uh, uh, like your modern day Black Panthers, Young Lords, you know, uh, different fractions of, you know, uh, sex that got together to overthrow um, 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 the government at the time Which back then was the Romans Just like now the, the things were written the four time Written for our learning So back then he wrote that for us now Alright So we don't take up arms And try to fight up against Esau Because again the scripture says what He bared not the sword in vain So with that Let me go to uh, Acts The fifth chapter Just to give you a, uh, An example of uh, what Paul was talking about This is Acts 5 and 34 Then stood there up one in the council A Pharisee named Gamaliel A doctor of the Lord Had in reputation among all the people And commanded to put the apostles Forth a little space Right because the people uh, the, the, uh, <clears throat> the masses was coming up Against the apostles But Gamaliel stood up in defense of them And this is what he said And said unto them Ye men of Israel Take heed to yourselves what ye intend to do as touching these men. Why? Because they wanted to kill the apostles, right? For before these days rose up Thaddeus, boasting himself to be somebody to whom a number of men, about 400, joined themselves who were slain, and all, as many as obeyed him, were scattered and brought to naught. That's right. See, this man, he tried and he failed. Okay? After this man rose up, Judas of Galilee in those days, of the taxing and drew away much people after him, he also perished, and all, even as many as obeyed him, were dispersed. Right, another man that rose up and tried to fight against uh, the powers that be at the time, which was basically the Romans. Okay, because Rome they controlled the known world at the time. They were in the land of Israel. They were they were all throughout Asia Minor, which we know today as Turkey. All right, they control uh, different lands of Europe, even going east. Okay. And they were putting hell on the Israelites. So the Israelites got together and tried to overthrow them. But you see here, the Most High basically made an example out of them. Now it says, verse 38, Now I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone. This is Gamaliel talking about the apostles. 
to the other Israelites that want to kill them. He says, for if this counsel or this work be of men, it will come to naught, right? Because the, the children of Israel, I'm sorry, the apostles was doing many works and, and gathering much people unto themselves and heaping themselves disciples unto themselves, okay? And then the, uh, the Israelites at the time, they were basically, you know, trying to stop it. They were trying to hinder it. And this is what he says, but if it be of the most high, ye cannot overthrow it, lest happily ye be found even to fight against the most high. That's right. Because if you try to fight up against the establishment that the most high established, then you fighting up against the most high, essentially. That's why we're not supposed to take up arms. And that's what the Paul was basically saying in Romans 13 chapter. OK, and it's not talking about, you know, fully uh, confining yourself to the government and doing whatever they say. And, you know, basically do as and when the Rome do as the Romans do. OK, why? Because Esau is going to push the chip. Right. Isn't the RFID chip going to come by way of the government? But we know clearly it says not to take the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast. Okay? Alright? So it's a balance. Alright? But with that, you know, basically, uh, the point was made, you know, there's certain things that, you know, you're going to have to, you know, follow suit in when it comes to, you know, uh, what the government says. Like, you got to pay taxes. The script, uh, Yahweh Shai paid taxes. He said, uh, uh, give, uh, render unto Caesar what is Caesar's. So just pay your taxes, man. Just do it to keep as much hell off as you as possible, basically, okay? But when it comes to fighting up against the government, you ain't supposed to do that, all right? You're supposed to go along with the get-along in that aspect until we get up out of here, until until the Lord comes and, and, and avenge us, avenges us, okay? With that, all praises to y'all, Bashim, y'all, Shai, Dabon, Star Apostles, and Elders, Great Millstone. Shalom to the elect.